damn the radio is playing some super throwback if you guys have never seen the movie Selena go watch it I've grown up watching that movie and I've seen it probably a hundred times now so what's going on you guys back here in the garage about to do some more work on the uh, engine and um, I got some pretty cool stuff for you guys today at least I think it's cool so I went to Honda got the uh, new half shaft seal and axle seal for the driver and passenger got a quart of transmission fluid because I have one right there and I have another brand new quart in the CRX now I know Mark works at Honda and uh, I know three of my friends that work at Honda here but I had to pay the price that um, you know they are picking it up locally rather than buying it online so the seals is eight bucks each on hondapartscheap.com and walk-in it's 14 bucks a piece that's some naga raping prices bro regardless I have them now so um, what I want to do today is really I, I kind of you know sat in my room figuring out what I want to do as far as you know the clutch engagement uh, system whether to go full hydro or somehow utilize the uh, Hasbro cable to hydro conversion right here now this kit came off my GSR LSD transmission damn it right here and you can see the brackets right there and the reason why I did not take this bracket off is because on the CRV tranny the starter is in the way I also have this piece right here that I bought from Hush Performance a long time ago 2017 right there and this is the reverse pull uh, slave cylinder for the hydro transmission and uh, pretty much what this is I bought this for my CRX a long time ago because I didn't want to run the uh, you know pull type because my downpipe was in the way so I bought this to convert a full hydro in my CRX and uh, this pretty much mounts like I don't know over here somewhere and then drill a hole here put the sucker through and then hydro all the way up to the pedal but the thing about this is when you go full hydro in the EF um, you know utilizing either the hush bracket or a DIY kit you lose the driver's side vent and because the CRX is a daily I don't want to lose that vent so been thinking long been thinking strong about what exactly it is that I want to do and uh, either or way I'm gonna make it work now because this piece right here still bolts up to the torque mount just as it would on a front wheel drive transmission right I was tinkering with this the other night and I kind of came up with this bracket right here made out of cardboard as Honda vlog would say CAD cardboard added design so I came up with this the other night made it out of cardboard to kind of make a bracket to hold the uh, cable into place you know as it would on that gold bracket over there but because the starter is in a way I'm trying to like make a bracket where I'm utilizing the starter hole and uh, it's gonna be a real tight fit but once everything's bolted it's gonna be very very sturdy and um, I'm gonna try to make this first and if this works out then we'll you know retain the cable now if it doesn't work out we can always rely on going to full hydro and we'll make a bracket for the pedal assembly and all that which is cool for me as well too because I do have this spare uh, pedal assembly now I didn't really show you guys the cardboard um, model of this how I made it but I am going to show you guys how I'm going to transfer that to steel all welded up together and installed if everything works out let's get to tracing So this took some time to cut because I don't have uh, cookies for my grinder and I made use of everything that I have in my toolbox and there it is slightly different I added some more space on 
this guy right here so we can have um you know not too close to the edge on the hole there but this right here now fits on there perfectly fine and what i'm going to do now is bolt the starter the bracket there and then uh, i'm going to start tracing out all the other pieces and then i'm probably going to tack weld them one at a time so that way um you know i can get the the uh bracket to to face the position that i need at least this guy to be to the hydro conversion bolted on the transmission so all right so i'm gonna clean up and i'm gonna go to home depot and i'm gonna grab some cutting disc I'm gonna buy some flap disc and I'm gonna go get some tap X and then we'll be back. So in combination with daylight saving and the wildfire that's been going on, we're losing a ton of daylight a lot faster. So Chewy and Goofy just came by. They dropped off um, a turbo manifold, old school spaceship looking turbonetics wastegate and an air research turbo. Now it's funny because I have that turbo right here and uh <laughs> yeah but i have this turbo right here completely blown out and uh this has been sitting for like 10 years and then this one is really really good like it's it's no no in and out shaft play no um excessive side side shaft play just a little bit but turbo looks really good no oil leaks no nothing whatsoever and it's funny too because this center cartridge is red not sure why but it it, it will match that car not sure if i'm gonna run this turbo because i don't know the capability of this turbo but if it gets me about 240 250 wheel horse i'll run it um possibly the manifold too get a new wastegate and then everything else obviously i'm gonna build a down pipe and all in the cooler piping and you know make use of that hks rep blower valve that i uh got in the mail so anyways got three discs got an 80 grit flap disc as well because mine are all completely worn down so i'm gonna continue cutting the um flat stocks get all the little pieces and everything that i need and then we'll uh you know tack everything in place and show you how all that looks so here we got the first half of the bracket welded together and uh completely all the way across the top and stitch weld on the back side i enclosed this bottom end right here and i gotta cut that piece off right there and i'm gonna use that to enclose this part right here so it's like blocked off and then uh now we gotta make the bracket that holds the cable in place which is this guy it's supposed to sit somewhere like that and um i put the bracket on as well so i can kind of you know see how far how long i gotta make this um come out to line up with that right there i have a spare cable that uh i can use to kind of you know get an eyeball alignment going on and then um and pretty much trace this out right here on the flat stock trace out the gusset i got one right there and i got one right here as well and i believe there was a smaller one too but i don't know somewhere um mind you guys oh there you are little baby gusset right here at the bottom but mind you guys all these material that i have it's just flat stock from previous projects seat rails and cooler brackets they were all sitting right there and um sure enough i had enough to do what i got to do here so i'm gonna go ahead and start tracing all that out cut it out before it gets too dark and uh continue on making progress on this diy bracket
here is the bracket fully welded up i capped this end off so it's not like a random hole to go right through and the only gusset that i didn't put on was the one that's right here because i had to trim this a little bit more which then gave me uh you know such a tight space to put a gusset there but this material is super thick so i'm not worried about it bending at all especially with this giant gusset in the front but yeah this is pretty much my cable bracket so i'm gonna bolt this on real quick and kind of give you guys a visual on how this looks and how it works and uh you know we'll we'll get it painted soon and and then uh permanently bolt this in place so i'm gonna go through my bin later and try to get a longer 14 millimeter bolt because this one right here the top bolt only threads about four or five into the uh transmission casing and this one's a tad bit longer it goes in about half an inch but i want to make sure that it goes in a lot further so that way with the pressure of the cable pulling on this bracket it doesn't pull this you know bolt out and then strip this hole so um I'll be sure to do that. Oh yeah, that's super sturdy. So this right here, stock cable, and uh, you gotta put the cable through this bracket first, and then goes all the way down put this bulky looking thing right here on the bottom of the uh, Hasport cable to hydro conversion right like so be sure to seat this rubber into place and then you adjust your cables accordingly like so yeah that's that's pretty much it this is gonna work out perfectly fine and um some of you guys may say oh you know the clutch or the the thing is too stressful for the cable the cable is going to stretch or why not use a da or whatever whatever i don't know if you guys know this but when i had the lsv turbo in my crx i was using the half sport cable to hydro conversion with a brand new oem cable which is still currently in the car with my twin disc right there so i'm i'm super used to the stiff pedal and if that was to rip you know on me on this setup it would have done it on the twin disc i drove the twin disc the cable the bracket assembly thousands of miles without a single issue so i guess i don't have to go full hydro anymore so that's that's definitely a plus i get to keep my driver's side vent and uh i hope everything works out when i get that into the car i'm looking forward to it i hope you guys are too but i am going to close the video out here thank you to chewy for the turbo i'm going to see if i can make use of it somehow but we'll get to it when we get to it so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this update Hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see some more updates on the all-wheel drive build. The swap is coming real soon. I have a meet on Sunday, two meets actually on Sunday. And then once that is over with, we'll move the car up to the driveway. And then we'll start tearing the motor out of the car and get it prepped for that motor. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.